Hi and now welcome to this first code edge screencast. So the first thing you have to do is basically to export our data to XML format. So I went ahead and did that and saved the uh, Excel format onto my um, desktop. And basically I uh, saved the file wherever I need it. And now I'm ready to parse it. And um, one of the first things I did was Google searched over to look up Python uh, XML parsing and uh, was uh, come, came up with the dive into Python website, uh, which is a very good uh, website based on a book called Dive into Python. And uh, in that book, uh, I just read a few pages and right off I came up with a sample script which said um, parsing XML is as simple as uh, importing this package and uh, if it's installed everything should work you should be able to parse it into XML doc well object if you wish and then you should be able to at least um, to know everything worked print the uh, file you just uh, uh, parsed so um, let's just go ahead and tell you what I ran into and if you go right off to my version 1 it is exactly that uh, it parses the uh, file and tries to print it and if you basically uh, try and run the file you come up with an error right off which is says that um, somewhere in the output there is a ASCII codec can't encode character um, UXB5 um, but importantly the name of the error was Unicode encode error so I went back over to um, Google and looked up uh, the Unicode encode error and this was the one of the top pages that I came up with and what that basically says is that uh, here he's trying to basically print uh, a particular uh, text and uh, he gets an error if he uses uh, the same error pretty much but the moment he uses um, uh, a, a dot encode call uh, with the codec name here, Latin one, he gets the uh, a uh, accent ague. So hello, uh, a graph uh, with with the correct encoding, and um, without the encoding, he just gets uh, the Unicode encode error. So it boiled down to finding out uh, what the different codecs are, and the first thing I tried to do was to look at the Python uh, library reference but I still have to get used to this I prefer Java doc any day um, and um, I then went over to uh, something that came up in my Google search and this is the Python Unicode tutorial and uh, this tutorial basically went through how to find out the codec for a particular web page uh, you pretty much uh, go to uh, Firefox and you go to uh, view and character encoding and uh, this particular website site had the character encoding ISO 8859-1 so I said okay so it should probably be as simple as going over to my back packet uh, example page for example go to view character encoding and bingo I have the codec name right there um, Unicode UTF-8 so then I went over to my editor and created well a new version with the following method call um, XML the same program uh, I initially thought I needed a line which said import codex which I got from some other uh, Google uh, search result but it turns out I don't need that all I pretty much need is the name of the codec so I have XML to doc dot to XML dot encode UTF-8 so if we go ahead and run that that's the newest version bingo you get the entire XML document printed out uh, without any errors so I now have uh, in my code uh, XML doc 
object which should have um, sub objects for all the nodes in my XML file uh, so let's see how things develop